Hello, and welcome to Play With Me Toys for Kids. In a previous episode, I showed you that we got some caterpillars, and we've been raising the caterpillars together, and well, now they're butterflies. So I've had the butterflies for a few days, and they've been recovering from the time when they were in the cocoon. It takes really a lot of energy to be in a cocoon, but now they're very active, and they're ready to be let free. So today we'll be letting them free together, but beforehand, I just wanted to show you a little bit how they look like, how they've grown up. So here we have one butterfly. Here we have the cocoons. This is when, ca when caterpillars go from the stage of being a caterpillar into a butterfly. So they build this cocoon around themselves and then they grow wings. Here on the edge, it may look like blood, but it's actually not. So this is extra coloring from the wings. Very, very interesting. Now these cocoons are paper thin, they're a little bit delicate, but I might keep them. Um, they're pretty cool to look at, and it's amazing to think what butterflies and caterpillars can do. So as you can see, they were just hanging upside down, and at the top, so they build this around them, they wrap it around themselves, and then they use this to transform into butterflies. Really, really interesting animals. So here we have our butterflies. There's three of them in total. Uh, you perhaps keep seeing two. The other one is at the top. I'll show it to you in a little bit. And we have been feeding them sugar water or fruit since they have hatched out of the cocoons. So they really like the sugar water or the fruit. You can go ahead and put it in a container and then put it in the bottom for them. And a few of you have commented that maybe it's not so nice to keep them all locked up in here, which is why we will be setting them free today. But like I said, they were just regaining energy from their cocoon stage. So here's the butterfly from the bottom. As you can see, it has really beautiful orange wings. It's a monarch butterfly. Perhaps you've seen them around, or perhaps you've grown them in a classroom. They're really spectacular creatures. When they become a butterfly, they only live for two to five weeks, but they've worked really, really hard to become a butterfly, and now they can enjoy it. So we did have four caterpillars at the beginning, but only three of them got through it, so we only have three butterflies. The other caterpillar was just um, maybe a little bit younger or a little bit older than the others, and it just wasn't eating as much, so it didn't make it. That is the way life goes. But I am really happy with the three butterflies that we do have. It's really incredible to think what they go through. They don't have any help, any, any help from parents or anything like we do. And they somehow managed to survive. They're really, really beautiful creatures. One of my favorite insects. So these are the two at the bottom. And let me go ahead and show you the one at the top. There are three, like I said. The one at the top is a little bit interesting. I'll show you in a second, but I want you guys to get a good look at the bottom two butterflies before we let them go. You guys have also asked if we've named them, and no, we haven't. It's a little bit hard for me to tell them apart. So here we have the butterfly at the top. As you can see, one of the wings is not fully grown, and this just sometimes happens, I guess, but I think he'll still be able to fly and he'll be okay but it's pretty interesting what can happen in nature. So, he hasn't been attacked or anything, it's just that his wing didn't grow all the way. Pretty interesting. So these are our butterflies. I'm a little bit sad to let them go, but it's time to let them be free and let them back into the wild. I hope that they've enjoyed growing up here in the studios. Um, been really fun to watch them grow up from caterpillars to cocoons all the way into butterflies. It's a really great experiment and I would recommend it for anyone as well. Here I'm in the field. I've chosen a nice field with a lot of flowers to set them free into and um, we'll stay here for a little bit trying to protect them but then they are on their own in the wild to be free. 
So we thought this would be a really nice place to let them go. And we have three here with us today. So we'll let them be free. Try to get one on my finger here to let it go. Oop. <laughs> I guess I didn't want that. It's a little bit cold out here today, so they're a little bit inactive. But I think it might just take them a second as well. If you would like to grow some butterflies of your own, you can go check out the live butterfly garden from Insect Lore. That's what we used. So here I have a butterfly on my finger. Be free! <laughs> And I guess it still wants to stick around a little bit longer. Maybe we can find it a nice flower to go sit on. It doesn't seem to want to fly away right now, so I think that we will find a flower. Oh, and there it flies away. So here you can see it down on the ground. Try to get out our next butterfly now. And it doesn't seem to want to go right now either, but perhaps if we set it down, oh, and it's flying. There it seems to have found its own place, so we'll go visit it for a second and wish it farewell. Here it is, right there. It seems to be resting until it flies away into freedom. So that was our second butterfly. And then we have our last little guy here. I think we'll try to find him a nice flower as well. I'm trying to blow him off my finger, but he doesn't seem ready to go yet. Maybe I'll give him a little bit of a nudging too. These butterflies are really, really beautiful. Their colors are absolutely exquisite as well as the patterns, but their patterns also serve a very important part to their life. Um, the patterns are supposed to look like eyes to other creatures, so if they're attacked, they'll go for the wings and not the body. And the butterflies just want something that's not as vulnerable. So their bodies are very vulnerable, but their wings are not quite as bad. So here I'm giving a little bit of a nudge, but oh, there it goes. And it seems to have found its own flower as well. So I want to wish these butterflies farewell as they find their new home. And I really enjoyed watching them grow up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's something a little bit different, but... It was really, really fun to set these butterflies into the wild. Like I said, if you'd like to grow your own butterflies, go check out Insect Lore, the live butterfly garden. They're only available in certain seasons, so they might not be available now, but I had a lot of fun with you guys doing this project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below, write in the comments how you liked it, and go subscribe to our channel for new videos and updates. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!